Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team. Here to make a video showing you how to get a native wireless hotspot on your Samsung Epic. What this means is you're not gonna have to use the third-party apps Wi-Fi Tether or Wired Tether. You can actually go through the Sprint Hotspot app and just enable it and you'll be able to connect to your phone. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this. I'm on Syndicate Frozen ROM. This works for any, uh, well, I mean for Syndicate Frozen ROM or EG22. So whether you're on Syndicate uh, Frozen ROM or EG22, this should work. So what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and uninstall both Wi-Fi Tether and Wired Tether, which both come with Syndicate Frozen ROM. So I'm gonna uninstall that. I'm using ADW EX Launcher. You can just hold it over the trash can up here and it gives you the option to uninstall it. And now that both of those are gone, as you can see, don't have them anymore, I'm going to go ahead and click on the link in the description, take you to this website. Um, big thanks to Necrosan for doing this for us. From what I hear, he's a very, very intelligent guy, so be sure to thank him for this. As you can see, uh, 3G, 4G wireless hotspot, native USB wireless tethering. Um, there's different options, EG22, SRF, Banzai, Urban Regeneration. So depending on what ROM you're running, go ahead. In my case, the Syndicate Frozen, Syndicate SRF 1.2, which is Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.2. Click on it, it'll download it right away. Just put it on your SD card. If you're on EG22, click on the EG22 hotspot hack. All right, anyways, um, once that is on your SD card, all you're going to have to do is go to the ACS updater and then go to install from SD card and then navigate to wherever you put that SRF 1.2 hotspot hack. It should be in one of these folders. Right there, SRF 1.2 hotspot hack dot zip. Click on it. Um, let's see, I don't believe you need to wipe anything. I didn't and it worked just fine. Um, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to hit yes. And what it's going to do is reboot into recovery for me and install the hotspot hack. What it's going to do is rename Sprint Hotspot to Wireless Hotspot, but it'll keep the same icon for you. You should be able to, uh, to see, as you can see, it's installing right now. I believe it wiped out the cache for you anyway, so this boot up might take a little while the first time since Dalvik cache is wiped. Okay, now that my phone has booted up, I should actually have the wireless hotspot um, native tethering hack on my phone now. What it's going to do is rename Sprint Hotspot to Wireless Hotspot. As you can see right there, it's called Wireless Hotspot as opposed to Sprint Hotspot, but it has the same icon. Um, if it doesn't rename it, then just go ahead and do the same process again, flash it again. Um, sometimes it won't rename it right away, so just do it again if it doesn't. Um, I'm actually going to get off Wi-Fi, which is what it's connected to right now on my phone. Go ahead and disconnect. I'm going to get up on 3G then. And go up to my PC. As you guys will be able to see, I'm not connected to any wireless network. I'm not connected to the internet at all. Not connected. Connections available. So I'm going to show you guys how this actually works. I'm on 3G now. It works for 4G as well. So it's if you're in a 4G area, go ahead and use that. Go to wireless hotspot. And All right, now go ahead and just check wireless hotspot. It says activating wireless hotspot, and then up at the top it should let you know hotspot's activated. Hotspot activated right up there, as you can see. Now once it's activated, go ahead and go to your computer, your wireless network connections right here. It says not connected, and click on SBHD 700. That one would be your phone. Go ahead and hit connect. It'll ask for your um, network security key, and that's going to actually be your cell phone number. That's what it's set to by default. You should be able to change it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my keyboard and type mine in real quick. And then just hit OK. 
and now it says was unable to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel, and I'm gonna try and connect to it again. It's asking for the key, the key again. Awesome. I'm gonna hit OK. Now it says connecting to it, and it went away. So I'm gonna go back to my phone, see what it's up to. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. 3G connection is doing something though. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. As you can see, it says SPH D700 internet access. So this should work. I'm gonna try and go to the AC Syndicate website. And there you go. Load it up right away, nice and quick. Um, can go down and read some articles if I feel like it. Um, uh, I guess I can try going to the Android Market website. And there you go, it's loading right up. Cool. So that seems to work great. Um, it's actually faster than Wi-Fi Tether app, so since it's native, it's not gonna go through a third-party app. So this is actually gonna be faster. You can actually just go home, do whatever you want. Go send a text message, read an email while it's running. It'll still work on your PC as you're doing other stuff as well. So if, feel free to do that as well. I highly recommend using this and upgrading to this hotspot hack. I also wanted to show you guys, I plug my phone into my computer as you can see. Um, I wanted to show you how to use the USB tether option if you did not want to use the wireless tethering option. So just go ahead and hit menu, settings, wireless and networks and then just click on tethering and then just hit check to tether so it says tethering or hotspot active up at the top and then just go to your computer it says installing device driver software right there and then just go ahead and let it run and then connect to it and you'll be good to go just like wireless hotspot big thanks to Necrosan as I said earlier um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. The first time it connects, be patient with it, let it sit there for a little while. It does take a little while to sink in, um, as I showed. So just be patient with it the first time that it does connect. Um, anyways, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. You can actually also uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Um, my name is QBKing77 on Twitter, so I'll leave a link in the description of the video here if you do want to follow me there. Not sure if you guys use that or not, but I guess I just started using it. So if you want to follow me on there, go right ahead. Also, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube. I will keep you updated, as always, on all gingerbread updates for the Epic. And I'm actually planning on getting a HTC Evo Shift to make videos for. Don't worry, guys. I'll keep my Epic just... Kind of letting you guys know about that. So if you have any friends with any HTC Evo Shift, I will be making how-to videos for that phone. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. Uh, thanks for watching.